I, I have to I have to think what were the fucking odds that Donald Trump was going to secure the Republican whatever the fuck the Republican National Convention Party whatever they call them there no, be the presidential nominee for that fucking party do you understand that Ted Cruz throwing in the towel everybody said he elbowed his wife he didn't Okay, she was third man in. I tweeted about this. If you look what happened, he hugged her first, right? And then he went in for the man hug. And then she, you know, according to the NHL rule of third man in, if there's if there's an altercation already happening and a third party enters it, it's an, an automatic game misconduct. So she should have got a game misconduct, right? If she's done that before in the past, you know, maybe she should get a suspension. I'll tell you what was fucking hilarious. She hung in there like a trooper. She took a knuckle and a couple of fucking elbows. She looked like she was trying to stop one of those little kitty merry-go-rounds with their head. You know, just kept taking a fucking bar to the skull. Um, he, then, he then did include her. I thought it was weird that she wanted to hug with those two men. Um, I don't know much about Ted Cruz, but I think, uh, I don't know, I felt a weird sort of rotisserie vibe there from his wife. That I think already occurred, you know, they were probably hugging, saying, all right, we're going to do this. Let's do it now. OK, I told you I couldn't do it. You know, I'm running for president. I don't need that ship. And now it's over. And I'm just a senator now. So, yeah, you know, I'll be on the other end while you're fucking my wife. I'll blow me a little bit. You know, I don't give a shit. You know, just just push this bill through. Isn't that how uh, politics work? I have no idea. Let, let, let's get back to what I was talking about. So fucking. What's his name there? Fucking uh, Willie Wiffle there. The fucking guy with the toupee. Comes back and around again, right? Donald Trump. I just want the American people to know that by giving him that fucking position in politics, you just cleared the way for Hillary Clinton to become president. And I don't want to hear a fucking word out of any of you Republicans. Not a fucking word. This is the guy you picked. You got no one to blame but yourselves. The only thing I do like about Donald Trump Trump actually being nominated is it makes me feel like it makes my conspiracy theory like go down. Like there's no way they don't count the votes if that guy got in. I used to think they just pretended to count the votes and then they just stuck this like nobody wants that fucking guy in. I know some of the most staunch Republicans you could possibly fucking run into and they have their head in their hands going, how the fuck, how the fuck did this guy become president? And I, that's, that's easy. That's easy. All you have to do is look at pop music. You just look at the shit that sells on TV, a bunch of whores screaming and yelling at each other. You know what I mean? It, it's inevitable. I have to be honest with you. I cannot fucking believe that this guy, he's a, he's a fucking star of a reality show. This is worse than when Schwarzenegger ran fucking California. This is fucking. Oh, my God. It's, it's just unbelievable. It's unfucking believable. Maybe. Oh, am I going to do this right now? Am I going to fucking retract again? Maybe I'm wrong. I'm sorry. I, I, I shouldn't have said that. Donald Trump's a great, you know, he's a great. Uh, it's a great choice out of all the Americans out there that you could have picked. You know what I mean? Yeah. Let's have Donald Trump against Hillary Clinton and fucking. Uh, Barry Sanders coming up around the outside. What the fuck's his name? Not Larry Sanders. Bernie Sanders. Um, ah, what are you going to do? This is just going to be a brutal eight years. 